Hello, this is MRR Collects with part three of three for the uh, convention uh, Comic-Con autographed 8x10 photos. Uh, first up, we have Michael Shanks from Stargate. I was really happy to get out. I got a feel. I didn't get Amanda Tappings. I've seen her panel, but for some reason we didn't get her autograph. But now we have Katie Sackhoff from Battlestar Galactica and uh, everything else in sci-fi. Really cool. She's from Oregon. Uh, uh, Mary McDonald from Battlestar Galactica, the president. Didn't think I was going to get this. Really happy to get this. Um, well, from the wife. Really happy to see the panel. Uh, it was a fun time. Uh, mainly because, it, again, it was like a mini reunion because she did the panel with Edward James Almos. Uh, not only a favorite actor, but really uh, the guy when he signs uh, one of the best autographs ever. Mark, so say we all, he signed Admiral Adama and Edward James Almos with May 30th, 2015. Uh, really cool day. I was really happy when the wife pulled that out of, her, out of the bag. Um, and to follow that up, another favorite. This is actually the one and only uh, autograph that I got personally. Uh, it was the end of the day and, and nobody was at their booths and this is literally... Uh, I'm going to say my uh, second on-screen crush, uh, besides Princess Leia, then, then uh, uh, Colonel Daring. I mean, come on. Uh, Buck Rogers and Colonel Daring on the same autograph, both signing. And uh, I, was, uh, I was pointed out that, that you know, it was kind of nice to see uh, that she outranked him. And then Gil said, well, yeah, but I was an admiral on Star Trek uh, during an episode of Star Trek. And I was like, well, yeah, but... She outranked you on this show, dang it. Um, that was, uh, and I got to talk to her for a bit because they were, it was the end of the day and there was nobody waiting. So um, we spent some time, uh, at least a few minutes, uh, shooting shooting the Shinoli. But uh, next up is Christian Bauer from True Blood. Uh, I'm looking to get some more from the series. I really, I got to finish watching it because. I kind of, I think I've got three or four seasons down, and then I kind of uh, uh, drifted away at the time. There's a lot of TV watching to do. I don't have time. Uh, here's a little-known act, character actor, uh, Jason Momoa. Okay, we got this before he uh, uh, blew up. Uh, I don't even think, I'm not sure if he was in Game of Thrones at the time. Um, I, he had to have been in Game of Thrones, but it... Again, it was really, uh, this is, I'm going to say this is pre-blow up because I probably couldn't afford this now. Um, it was a great panel. Uh, he, he brought up about uh, anybody on the audience who wanted to go up, they did a haka uh, when that was still, uh, you know, fairly uh, new to people. And uh, just, yeah, it was a great panel. Uh, another... <laughs> Okay, here's Judge Dredd himself, among other things, uh, Carl Urban. Uh, again, uh, come on, more Judge Dredd, more Judge Dredd. I know you want to do it, Carl, but I don't know what the heck is going on, why they want to leave money on the table, because uh, I think it was more of a marketing thing, but still, that that was the Judge Dredd movie, uh, as long as... Along with, you know, the best Dr. McCoy that you could have asked for. Um, DeForest Kelly is really smiling from above. Uh, it's just, um, I'm going to say one of my favorite, favorite actors. One of my favorites out there. Uh, and then you got Danny Glover. Uh, this, this is from Predator 2, uh, the photo, but uh, to me... Uh, you know, come on, Lethal Weapon. Uh, it's really just imprinted on my brain uh, from a time where that was the cool, one of the coolest guys on the planet. And then uh, Jim Beaver. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's literally one of my favorite characters on, on the Supernatural. And uh, though I haven't watched, uh, I still got some seasons to catch up on. I own the, the first 12 seasons on DVD. Back when DVD was a thing, youngins, there was once a time where you had to physically actually go out and uh, purchase and acquire uh, content 
uh, uh, physically. But uh, again, really happy to. I'm happy to get all these. I mean, we got them for a reason. But uh, here, here's just another super. Uh, funny thing is, I wasn't there when Kathy picked the picture. I would have expected a Harry Potter picture. But this picture is from a series called Dig. And let's just say I dig it. Very, um, uh, I'm going to say the seventh seal for the 2000s. Uh, really cool. They only did one episode, one season. Um, but it was, uh, it was really uh, good for where it was done. Uh, basically, uh, based in Jerusalem. And um, just fantastic. And then, you know, all the Harry Potter stuff. I mean, come on. He's... Uh, uh, and and actually, the the Captain Hook movie he did was or Peter Pan, uh, where he played Captain Hook was was. Uh, I saw the panel. He was talking about it, and so I watched it, and it was actually really good. So, uh, it was one I had skipped. I don't have any kids, so uh, not a surprise. Uh, okay, Serenity fans, Mark Shepard, been in everything. Uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, some, some little known show called Supernatural. Um, <laughs> uh, again, we got this really before, you know, um, I'm glad, I hope he does, I hope he gets some, uh, bigger roles. I don't know, maybe, I think Supernatural's coming to a close, but who knows, you know, uh, 15 plus years on that show, seems like. Um, but again, uh... Big uh, Firefly fan, you know, and uh, uh, and all the other dang shows he showed up in. So, uh, pretty cool. Pretty happy to get that one. And it was a fun panel. Some little known young lady, Summer Glau, Miss Serenity, Miss uh, Miss. Uh, I'm going to uh, kick everybody's patakas, and I'll look good doing it in a dance, in a dance. But uh, this is the last one. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.